everybody, Clint Seely here. Another short tutorial on the Edit Toolbox. The next feature that we are going to concentrate on, the next little tool, is the Color Blending Tool. Now You can see here that the Color Blending Tool, that option is grayed out and unselectable. That's because you have to select a, an object that you can actually blend the color into. It's a pretty cool tool. Say you have just your, your basic object, like you have an ellipse, or you have this square here, or this sand dollar shape right here. This is one of my digitizing elements from my ocean collection. These are all, um, these are all objects that are basically a fill stitch, and when you're dealing with a fill stitch, and you select that guy, if you don't want just a, um, if you don't want just a flat, solid color, in your fill stitch and you want something more like a gradient or two colors blended together to make a unique effect well you can certainly use the color blending uh, option in your edit toolbox now you can see here as I've clicked on this ellipse the color blending option is available now of course like I've like I've explained before if you hover over any any of these options and just hover over there you can see a little box pops up to give you a short explanation as to what that tool is. You can also hit the F1 when you're hover hovered over it for more detailed explanation. However, um, reading an explanation and, and a couple little pictures like this can give you a good idea of what it'll do. It can't give you a full idea, so let's show you um, let's show you visually what what we're talking about here. It's just a real easy effect. So this ellipse is selected. We'll go then and hover over and left click on the color blending and a dialog box will pop up. And now you have a few color blending options. Now what's gonna happen here, what the tool does is it's going to let you select a color for the bottom layer and a color for the top layer. When you hit okay, it makes a duplicate object and layers it right under it. So there will actually be two ellipses and it'll change the stitch width, the stitch density, okay? It'll make both of them light, but they'll both be two different colors, giving you a blended effect, okay? So I'm just using maybe this, actually let me switch to something that is, is a little more drastic, okay? So bottom layer being yellow and maybe top layer being black. That way you can really see because these two are such contrasting colors you can see the effect then we have different profiles okay you you can uh, increase it linear okay decrease linear and then you've got your concave and your convex profiles those are just four different effects blending effects that you can select so let me select one I'll just start off by selecting this concave and hitting OK now you can see the effect okay after activated is quite a different effect let's try it on this box alright so let me let now that the box here is selected we'll left click on color blending let's do uh, two different ones maybe the top layer being um, purple and we'll do decrease linear profile and hit OK you can see that's a different that's quite a different effect than you have here and as you if you want just a subtle blend say you want this something like the seashell here to be a little more realistic as to what you would find on the beach you, you know when you find a sea seashell or a sand dollar it's not going to be just one flat color there is going to be some color blending in it uh, maybe you want to you don't want the change to be drastic but a little more realistic like something that you would find would look so you would do we would blend two um, very close colors let me give you an example of that so I have the I have the sand dollar selected and let's just blend another color but on this time for the bottom layer let's select uh, maybe white or actually no the top layer Let's select a white, or maybe an off-white, something like this here. And on the bottom layer, maybe a pastel of some kind, a very light pastel. What about a, a light pink? Let's see what, what that will do. Um, let me try this effect. 
Yeah, see, something like that right there. Um, maybe not perfect what you would want, but you can you get the idea. Okay, let me hit undo. Let's do another variation of that. We're just practicing here. You're playing. You have permission to play around, um, not like something, hit the back button, and try it again. I certainly do that all the time. You have my permission, okay? That undo button right here, that back button, is your best friend. So top layer, let's switch them this time. Okay, maybe top layer is going to be the pink. And the bottom layer may be the white. Let's hit, hit OK. See, so, so you get something just a little bit different this time. Maybe you like that, but it's it's blended. You can see how see how those two colors are blended together. Isn't that nice? Okay, that's that's really about all there is to the color blending tool. This is Clint Seely. Thank you for watching.